World battles the coronavirus pandemic again. The global maritime transport industry has played a critical role in the response. A call by the industry to all governments uh, to keep maritime trade moving by allowing commercial ships uh, continued access to ports worldwide and by facilitating the rapid changeover uh, of ships, crews uh, should not go unheeded. Around 80% of global trade is transported by commercial shipping, which moves the world's food, energy, and raw materials, as well as manufactured goods and components. In this time of global crisis, it is more important than ever to keep the supply chain open and to allow maritime trade and cross-border transport to continue. Transit needs to be facilitated too. Landlocked countries need access to food and medical supplies through neighboring countries. Seaports, shipping and ports uh, hold the world's economy together. They connect countries, markets, businesses and people on the scale not otherwise possible. A vast array of goods and commodities are transported by sea to meet the demands of industrial and manufacturing sector, energy needs as well as businesses and consumer requirements. I have the National President, Association of Nigerian Licensed Custom Agents, Tony Iju Mwabunike. He joins me now via Skype uh, from Victoria Garden City here in Lagos. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Yeah, just by the presidential directive uh, that seaports remain functional during the ongoing lockdown, why are there still problems with cargo clearance at the seaports? Okay, thank you very much. There are too many problems to that effect. First of all, federal government actually said that we are one of the essential workers. But the truth of the matter is that um, all the parasitals, most of the parasitals are not working very effectively. Some are working on a very skeletal level. I'll give an example of banks. Banks are actually not um, doing to their full capacities. Some of the bankers are actually not uh, coming to work. And again, um, the shipping companies. Some of the shipping companies are actually not working. Some decided to do online businesses. And, uh, you know, most of their online businesses are not working. And you see them clustering all over the places uh, because they have very few number of people coming to work. I'll give you another example of uh, security agencies. Because we actually believe that federal government are made of the essential workers, we decide to go to port. And uh, going to port is becoming a very hurricane task because the security agencies are actually disturbing our, our members from going to work. And um, again, the logistics to move to ports are very, very scared. So the Nigerian Shippers Council actually has given us some buses to, fl to fly all through and flow to ports, but up to date um, is not enough, though we thank them for that. Then again, we talk about uh, other government agencies in the ports, and I tell you, some of them are not complying even to the government directives. So all those things are making it very impossible. But finally, remember that we are to clear only essential commodities, like I told you before, um, petroleum products, got, uh, uh, medica medicaments and the, uh, medical equipments and the foods. And uh, these have actually not constituted almost uh, up to 30% of the inflows of our goods into the country. And these are the areas of worry. Let's now look at terminal operators and shipping uh, uh, companies. Are they uh, not collecting demorage uh, and storage charges even with the directive to suspend these charges at this time? Yes, MPA actually gave uh, what we call storage waiver for the uh, terminal operators two weeks ago. And up to yesterday, many of them are not actually um, complying with what... Uh, Nigerian shipper and uh, Nigerian Post Authority have actually given them as directing. Just very few of them, just yesterday, that two of them actually started complying. Then in the other side, the terminal operators are not actually complying, like I said, but the other side is shipping companies. The Nigerian Shippers Council have actually given the shipping companies directive that will start from the third of uh, March to date, that they are going to waive 100% of the demoradies. Today, as I'm talking to you, none of the shipping companies have complied to that. This is really, really, really very worrisome. Uh, now, the affairs of possible congestion if these issues are not resolved. How does this come to you? Yes, um, if this is not resolved, we are going to have what is going to call 
overflow of goods and services in the port, that we are going to have a very serious bluster of containers. We are going to have what is called uh, too many containers coming to Nigeria ports and not clearing them. And um, it's going to be an overflow of goods in a very short period of time. So what are the quick wins? What are the quick wins? What can be done by relevant agencies to quickly address all of these issues? Quick wins, talking about how we can get, get this done quickly. It's simple. Let them principles the the actual uh, uh, directives that have been given to all of them. Central banks should open all the banks because everybody you didn't tell anybody the number of banks he's going to use before. You did not tell them the the from M they are going to use on a particular bank. So every single commercial bank should open. Then secondly, all the shipping companies must open and adhere strictly to the social distancing and treat people like normal human business people that are actually generating revenue for federal government. Then police must relax for those essential workers who are going to their various businesses. And uh, I think the bosses which Nigerian Shippers Council has actually brought to us uh, it still needs to be uh, cushioned more because uh, it's not enough for us to go to the port. So these are the areas of uh, quick intervention that will help us to go and uh, generate the revenue from the government, for the government. Indeed, and at this time, revenue is needed because we we'll see what's happening to crude oil. Let's talk about the issue of social distancing and other safety measures to contain the spread of a coronavirus pandemic. Are agents observing necessary precautions uh, at this time? Yes, uh, I can say yes and no. One, the agents are very conversant with COVID-19. They know that COVID-19 is real. Another thing is very clear that federal government told them to go to port and clear their goods. And uh, the shipping companies and the terminal operators are working in a very skeletal level. And they are all fighting to get their consignment because most of these terminal operators and shipping companies are not waiving their demo already. So nobody wants his goods or her goods to be in the port. So it makes them to cluster, it makes them to rush, it makes them to get their jobs quick. And the most the hardening thing is that most of the shipping companies actually block their major gates. And these agents are working from outside under the scorchy sun. And this is the terrible thing that is happening today until the intervention of the executive secretary of the Nigerian Shippers Council. Very touching one day. It's really important that these are looked into. Thank you very much for your time there now. The national president of the Association of Nigerian Licensed Custom Agents, Mr. Tony Iju Mwabunike. Thank you for joining us on Business Nigeria this afternoon.